Well, hi there. This is uh, my new stack pianola piano. It's a duo art, actually a half duo art, which I've just um, been working on for a little while. It was badly out of tune when I got it. It's got a beautiful cabinet, still in very good nick. And this is a little bit later model one. This is about a 1932, I think, 32, 33, somewhere around about there. Now I've just made a little bit of a change to it, which you'll just see in a minute. You might have already noticed. Um, I'll just load her up and and it has a little electric motor on it which is running in place of the wind motor so that I don't have to pedal so much. I have a hope of someday because I've got a bit more wind power now not having the motor to be able to hook up the right hand side at the moment. I've only got duo out on the left hand side. I'd like to, like to put the second accordion on. Switches. Notice it. I stop pedalling and there's an interlock under there which turns the feed off. There it is under there. Which, and now as soon as I, I'll just give it a bit of a pump for hand. There she goes. And that starts the wind motor up again, or the uh, electric motor in place of the wind motor. I'll just show you around the back here. We have on there a little tiny circuit board which controls the DC motor. It's just a little $10 thing off of eBay. And uh, that gives me very good control of the little DC motor which is out of a photocopier sorter, I think, out of a, an old one. A couple of little bits had to be made on the lathe, just a, the um, little pulley to go on the end of the potentiometer and an idler pulley at that end. And that was an old electrical contact uh, connector that just happened to be the right size. Not much has, has been changed and if I want to put the wind motor back on, there it is down there and there's no damage to anything, it can easily be put back on. Here she goes. <laughs> Just put it back into re-roll, cross to re-roll, and as soon as we start the pedal, and you can't you can't pedal it, it's quite tight. There's nothing to pedal, but it's holding vacuum on. So uh, away goes the motor in reverse. If we want to speed it up, we can a bit. Keeps us to a safe level. Stop pedaling. It's a bit of residual vacuum, and then it shuts off. It's working really quite well. I'm quite pleased with it.
Thanks for watching. See ya.